I didn't hear the warm welcome, though, applause. Did you? No. Oh, thank you, thank you, awesome. So great to be here. <laughs> You are in for a treat because these ladies are very fun, as you are about to find out. They're co-CEOs. They come in matching outfits. We've coordinated. We've got the blondes on either side and the brunette in the middle. Yeah, we got the brains in the middle. OK. Well, excuse me. <laughs> That's your problem. <laughs> so, ladies, your co-CEOs, take us back to the beginning. How did you, how did you meet? How did this beautiful partnership come about? Your version or mine? Let's take yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let, let's mine. Mine is the grander version and then she'll give it to us anyway. Yeah, well, as I am, as you see, the older one, uh, I used to be uh, building a bank in Finland called Les Bank, and at that point I was the CIO of the bank and then we had uh, uh, core banking service provider called Crosskey Banking Solution. And I kept hearing about a very, how should I say, ambitious and strict young lady working over there. And, and they called her Denise. And I was like, Denise said this, and Denise said that. And I was like, yeah, I wonder who the fuck that Denise is. <laughs> then fast forward a couple of years, we met. And I decided to join the dark side, so quitting at the bank and joining Crosskey. And that's how our paths crossed. And, and uh, we've been working together for, I think it's like soon 15 years. And uh, yeah, she, she's my better half in business and, and in life also. So we were never friends, but now we are more than that because we share the same ambition level. So that, that's the true, and now she's looking at me, that this is the short version. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> and, the... and how did you come to actually start a company together? And who, whose idea was it? Who suggested it? It was Monica's idea. Uh, she called me uh, one day in February, six and a half years, almost seven years ago. Uh, but from the day she joined the dark side, uh, she immediately asked for me to join her team, and I said yes. And uh, from day one, it just worked so good with us. Um, we knew where we had each other, even though we didn't actually know each other. But we sensed, like business-wise, ambitious-wise, values-wise, we knew exactly. So we worked together there uh, for six, seven years. And uh, when she quit, uh, we never said goodbye. We said that we are going to work together again. Let's see when in time and with what. And it took less than three months. Uh, I was on maternity leave and she just called me, should we? And after one year home with a child, I was like, yes! <laughs> what shall we do? Start a business. Yes, let's do. So and so been, we did. So you've been co-CEOs right from the start. Yes. Was there ever any? Yeah. What does that mean in practice? Apparently, Salesforce <laughs> now has co-CEOs, so you've yeah, set, they've probably you've, heard about you've us. You've set and a real like, trend. Yeah, yeah. Like, how, how does just how does that work in practice? Yeah, the, the, and that's many levels. But I think the really important thing is the the hundred and ten percent trust. So, meaning that I just got a question yesterday that. If there's some agreement that needs to be signed, do you need to see it and blah, blah, blah. I said, no, because we, we are on a mission. We are building Enfuse to be the best and fastest and globally scalable payment service provider. We want the world to be a better place with an Enfuse in it than not. So that's where it all comes from. And then we're so fucking awesome that when, like, for example, here at Slash, we've been meeting all the investors who want to pump in money into us. So instead of me having only 12 meetings, we could have that double up. So that's how we work. So we execute faster and better because there's two of us who really knows how to get shit done. And have you sort of divided and conquered? Are there things, what are you better at than yeah. her? I'm better at structure. I'm better at planning. <laughs> <laughs> I am. And I'm uh, better to concretize uh, when real things need to get going. But she's visionary, um, uh, energy, and tech. But no, we haven't like split it on a paper. This is Monica, this is Denise. But anyone who works with us, they need like, how many minutes did you get with us? Five, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
and you saw the dynamic between us. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to spend more than a few minutes and you sense uh, what we are and how we work together. But if we need to generalize numbers, uh, me, tech, Monica. So, and that's so that you haven't, are there any things you've had to put in place to make it make sense for the team? No, I th well, put it like this. We actually decided now when we are scaling and, and we've been fortunate enough now to, to hit numbers in a way that we could take in our Series C last year and take in now next level people. So what we realized is that we need someone to help everyone in the management team understand each other faster. So we have a so-called mental coach, or the, he probably has some better name, I don't know what, <laughs> but Yari, we call him Santa Claus. Uh, but, but he's really good. So what he, he does is that he, he coaches each and every one of us to understand ourselves better, so that when we communicate, it becomes faster. So the trust built between us for the past 10 plus years, we need to boil that down faster. So that's what we are doing in order to be, become better and faster. So have you done anything else to kind of make that trust between you even stronger? You have, a, you have mentors? No, not between uh, the two of us. No. Like we talk way too many times a day. We text each other even more every day. I do think that I uh, spend more, like, I share more words with her than with my husband most of the time. <laughs> so, and I think that's what you need to do. You need to keep the communication open and honest, and it needs to be 100% transparent uh, at all time. Uh, Is there, are there not times, though, when you could argue that as a, as a CEO, if you didn't need to kind of keep each other on top of what you're both doing, you know, if you didn't have to keep sort of updating the other person, you'd be able to just get more stuff done? No, 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 because you would probably get more shit stuff done, but when you need to get actual shit done, like awesomeness, <laughs> who is ever best? You need to have someone to bounce the ideas because often, like with, especially with Denise, when she comes in, it's more like, like, this is how I'm thinking, this is what we should do because this is the target we're going for. Well, it makes sense, a couple of questions, and then speaking it out clarifies it to yourself. Yeah. So actually, I believe that that's the secret sauce, that when you have someone, and I often use this uh, dialogue, like um, example also, that we are like parents because like, when you have a lot of kids, they try to play you. So I always say, like, it's me and her against the rest of the world, but meaning in a way that since we are aligned, everything becomes much faster because it doesn't mean that we like, okay, I'm going to sign this. What do you think? Or should I have this? No, it's no. the big picture ticket items that, we, that matter. Yeah, and have, have you had instances in the past where members of the team have been like, she'll let me she'll let me get away with this, but the other one won't. They, yes, they, definitely they try. They try, and, and I, I think as an But they don't survive. No. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like they like, really don't survive. But, and some people have a li really hard time. Like, even though if, if, you, if you meet us, if you spend some time with us, and you still think that, actually, I'm going to play this way because then my career, or it's always then, like, personal-based. Mm -hmm. Like... I, I can't understand how you can be that stupid, that you would believe that some random could actually come and break what we have. Uh, so yeah, no, but yeah, because people works. are actually stupid <laughs> in that. But they, they try to play you against, because they think that because I am a bit more like open like this, talk a lot more, that, that I would be some level like more easygoing. But actually what it's for me is like, I am very nice <laughs> until I'm not. So I really don't like people that don't deliver. And what then happens is that I just start, they, they like kind of die for me. So I'm like, okay, I'm not wasting my energy on that. And then he's like, hey, you can't do that. You need, okay, well, like, so that, I think that's also the good thing. Yeah, and, and, like, and is, is the open community, is just communicating constantly yes, the key thing yeah, to make sure yeah. nothing and ever not, gets. Yeah, and not living in the same place. <laughs> oh yeah, this is crazy as well. They, they don't actually <laughs> see each other No, very no, often. no, that's why I'm excited here. Like, like, are you excited to be at Flush on stage? So that, yeah, okay, yeah, woo, woo. But I'm excited to be with Denise because since we live in different parts, 
uh, we've been remote for. But I do think that that's what keeps it fresh. Uh, 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 yeah. yeah, I don't think. Yeah. I don't want to. So you like think the long distance co yes, CEO yes, relationship exactly, is yes. the right one? Yeah. Yes. What, what would happen <laughs> if you spent too much time in the same physical I, location? I, I think we, we like. I think like this: the energy burst that comes from having this. I think I would just, you know, burn out. I would die. I was like, fuck. I, I, I actually think that we would just spend too much time with yeah, each other. Yeah. So we actually wouldn't have families on the side. And it is the families that keep us sane yes. throughout this journey. Yeah. So we would probably burn them out. And then it would be just the two of us. And then we would burn out. Do so you, yeah. Do you think you kind of hold each do you think you have higher standards for yourselves because you are co-CEOs? I, I have a deputy editor who I run Sifted with, and she's such a fucking star that I like, I don't, you know, you have those days where you're like, I just want to take it easy, but I'm like, Eleanor's not taking it easy, so I've got to step up to the mark as well. Is that, does it feel a bit like that? You should step the, step up, Amy. Now the I game. Know, I like, know. She's, yeah, yeah. She no, set a high bar. Yeah. I uh, like the, how I, say, I understand the question. Doesn't mean I relate. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you know, of course there are days like when the other one is more like fuck, <laughs> but you wake up every morning. IPO 2027. How do we get Enfuse to become the company? Because that's where we are going. That's the goal. So being tired is not an option. And I think one thing that I have had to learn is that I need to be more. I can, I'm, I can be merciful to us. Like I okay, can. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But. I think one thing that I need to be better at, and, and Denise helps me with that, is the communication side also. Because I know that everyone doesn't have to be like that. Enfuse is also a lot of great people. Every one of them aren't founders. So it is different. But Monique, I, I'm, I need to disagree with her a little bit. Good. Uh, and this, I'm good at <laughs> disagreeing with her. <laughs> I do hear what you say. But if it would be just me, would I wake up and do all the shit every day, no. 365? No. no, probably not. So I do think it helps that you have someone with a high standard. Could I let myself down? Probably yes. Would I let Monica no, down? No, never. It's the same True. with the family. Like, could I let myself down? Would I let yes. my kids down? No, never. never. So I do think it actually helps. Yeah. And now you agree with no, me. Yeah, now, yeah, because I understand agree. it. Because she's explained it <laughs> she's better than it. you. She's a better community. Oh. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> Tips from the coach. Not like I'm a professional communicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's it going for is, you? Is being a co-CEO something that has to be put in place right from the start, do you think? Or is it something, you know, if someone had a superstar CPO or COO, is it something that, a, you know, a founder CEO could elevate someone to that position? Or do you think it needs to be there right from the very beginning? Now I'm going to take this. Uh, I see what you are going to answer. But I'm going to say no. I don't think that it needs to be in place. And even though this is the way we have been leading the company from day one, we haven't officially been the co-CEOs from day one because we didn't understand co-CEO was a concept uh, seven years ago. Uh, so. Like one of us had the title and we shifted it a little yeah, among yeah. the years and Depending we had a lot of companies. The and yeah. Uh, but then when someone actually said it out loud that the co-CEOs and we were like, what did you say? That actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we officially became it. So I do think that it's more about the foundation yeah. in the relationship uh, and the common goal and vision uh, than it is like place in time when you have to say it out loud. Yeah, and I think that's the, the challenging part. Like, what, how do you get a successful? So if, if we were sitting here now and being investors and, and going into investing in something, would we say that, ah, oh, you should have a co-CEO? No, because there has to be di dynamics. And then the t title becomes just like, but this is what we are. This is how we, how we run the show. And then you get that. So I, I, I would have a hard time understanding how you could find that dynamic. Because in the end of the day, it's about, it's about absolute trust. Yeah. yeah. What did your, you've raised a lot of money. And you must be one of the only female founded companies in Europe to have raised that much. So congratulations. Thank you. you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Amy, you're learning. <laughs> 
was being co-CEOs ever a kind of sticking point for investors? Were they like, but which one of you do we put under the thumb? There's two of you. <laughs> no, it was actually, it was uh, the latest investors, so Vitruvian Partners. They were the one putting a name on what we are. Yeah. And they, uh, after everything was done, uh, they admitted that it was the dynamic between us uh, early in that journey that they saw that the two of them, they have something that we rarely see. Let's make this investment. Uh, they did play hard all the way around, so it wasn't and an easy round. And they still round, do. <laughs> I mean, like, there's no walking in the but, park. But, but like... yeah, so no, they, they more embrace, like, what can they see in companies? What do they see in founders that could make that company uh, become bigger than most of the rest. That's what they are looking for. Uh, and for us and for Enfuse, it was the dynamic between us and the energy and how much we can get going uh, in a short period of time. This is a bit boring, but are there, are there like legal complexities that come with being co-CEOs? You know, do you find there are bits of paperwork where yes. like, you just have to put one of your names down? Mm. Yeah, yeah, and like, so it, we are both CEOs because the Finnish law doesn't recognize a co-CEO, and it's all about who goes to jail. That, that's kind of, that's the ultimate, like... So, so who, who do goes we, to jail? I go to jail... Okay. If <laughs> for one company. For one, so Enfuse <laughs> is two companies. Yeah. It's the financial services that does the payment processing as a service, and then we have Enfuse license service that has the EMI license, etc. So if the license in the FSA becomes pissed off, she goes to jail. <laughs> And if, if something else goes to shit, I go to jail. Okay, so that's how you shared it out. Yes. Yeah. I know of, well, now we know Salesforce has <laughs> yeah. those CEOs. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to jail? That's probably the reason they want to shift who goes to jail. Let's Google that up. Maybe we'll find. <laughs> yeah, I can't we'll find. confirm this, yeah, yeah, by yeah. the way. Um, but the, the other startups I know with co CEOs, it's all women. I mean, do you think there's a anything in that? Do you think it is more natural? Do women like to share more? Or do you not no, want to? No, no, I don't. I don't no. <laughs> Probably have, yeah, I, am, I can have many thoughts. I've been in a, a woman in a very male-driven uh, industry for a very, very long time. And I, I said that the, the ones that I've had had the most challenges with hasn't been men, it's been women. So I, I really think that it's great if it is so because we women need to learn to support each other much more. Uh, so I don't, I, I, I don't know, there are probably a lot of stuff written about it, but I do think that men in general are better at supporting each other, so maybe they don't need the structure, because there is the CEO, deputy CEO, I don't know. But in the end, I don't really care as long as it works for us. I guess. I guess you don't have a point of comparison, but it must be, I mean, is it, do you think it's less kind of stressful when you talk to other founders or less, you know, the, bur the burden yes. is shared? Yes, 100%. Than, like, you know, if you have a shitty pitch meeting with an investor. Never had that. Never had were that, there. Yes. Really? Can't, can't no. relate, but. <laughs> You've never had a shitty pitch meeting yeah, with an yeah, investor? Yeah, 2019, yeah. they I mean, were like, all the shit. investors are shit, <laughs> not us. Oh, no, That's no, what yeah, I'm, ah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Not you guys, obviously not you guys. But yes, we have had a a lot of shit. Okay, I was going to say that yeah, is except we've got a news story. <laughs> yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. You really need to step it up in explaining what you mean, Amy. But yeah. But, you, but does that does that help that there's yes, always yes. someone else yes. who think, you can be like? Yes, what that's the, fuck the was that? that's the best part. Yeah, and then I have to say. <laughs> When I was working with her at the previous company, she actually bought me a birthday gift, which was this piece of paper that had a voodoo doll that I could write the name of the person that pissed me off and then, and then like draw, and I said, fuck, I love this woman. Like, so, so yes, we've talked about investors also. Yeah. What, what's the worst bit? about being cozy is, I mean, right now, I'm like, if ever I was mad enough to start a company, I want a I co-CEO, look at this, this is awesome. 
the I don't, I don't, not so good about no, it. No, but I don't have anything bad to say about it. I, I wouldn't oh, do this journey on. alone. No, but I wouldn't do this alone. <laughs> uh, I like because so much shit happens to you. Yes, uh, as every a day. Every day. Shit hits the fan every day, and it's good that someone comes with the umbrella. Like, hey, Monica, shit is flying in your face. <laughs> So no, got your back. Yeah, but it's also like because I don't think that you should put all that burden on the rest of the no. people around you. Yes. I think you should limit like that's your burden as the yeah. founder and yeah. as the CEO. Yeah. Uh, but to carry that all that weight, all that shit weight yeah. on your own. Yeah. Like how yeah. do you yeah. get it? Like yeah. those that are alone. Yeah. How as do they yeah, survive? Exactly. Like a small example. We had a small thing called COVID hit. We had the war starting, the downturn coming. You can't go to the to the com company and say, "Hey, this is going to shit." <laughs> uh, it's not going for us anymore, thankfully. But like the first four years was very hard, so that you can share that. I think it keeps you sane, mm. and it also puts things into perspective. Because like I am a person, I'm like, okay. Is anyone gonna die? No. Okay, but then it's a positive thing, and then we start <laughs> like rolling back from that. But do you have anything bad? Come on. No, I think the only thing that she keeps bitching about me being so much older, but like she would do that re regardless of the title. <laughs> <laughs> So if someone here is thinking about setting up a startup or they're a crazy serial entrepreneur and they want to set up another one, what are some like practices, routines, things you do every week, every day as co as co CEOs that really helps? Like you talk all the time. What else do you do? What else is different from a sort of normal CEO week to week? We talk all the time. Yeah. I'm yeah. like serious. All I think I talk a lot, anyways. But I, 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 look, I put it like this: we don't talk all the time. We communicate yes. all the time. So yeah. I, I think like once we had 15 meetings with investors in one day, yeah. a fucking nightmare. And and between that, we shared like 35 WhatsApps and and stuff. So I think it's about but but like. Especially her, Denise is very to the point, like no BS, like allergy mega, and I'm just so fucking lazy at reading stuff. So I think uh, my tip is like spend time with each other, and I think that's what we always said. Like every time we spend time, so we actually have this uh, system that at least every quarter we spend quality time together. But I need to what add do you to do? that. Is it, uh, is it sauna? Yeah, yeah. Is it champagne. And champagne. <laughs> nice. But I need to add to that because what I do think that we do, and maybe more me than her, but it's also like, what is the most important for us to get done this week? That's yes. Monday morning. Yeah. Uh, and what bullshit will she have in her calendar that we can clean away? Yes. Because that's her calendar, not she's, mine, she's because yeah, I decline calendar. everything. So if you are declined by me, I don't mean anything bad, but I just do it all yeah. the time. And she accepts. And then every day, like, are we on the track to get this week's most urgent actions yeah. done? Yeah. And uh, what do we need to get done today? So I think every morning we need to know and that's not like me or her or co-CEOs, that's company-wise. Yeah. Yeah. What will Enfuse need to do today? The, yeah, uh, and, and tomorrow this week, and this week yes. to, to reach where we are and going. Just reminding yourself and your partner in crime of that every day, that's how you keep the focus, that's how you keep moving yeah. forward, I yeah. think. But we have like every Monday, 8.15, start with, okay, what the fuck needs to happen this week? <laughs> yeah. Because then stuff will start happening to you. And what, what stuff do you do together? Like what stuff is it important or better that there's both of you? And what stuff do you divide and conquer? It's not too much that we do together. I think it's mostly internal stuff. So how do we want to structure like yeah. real stuff within the company uh, when we both look at things from very different perspectives? Yes. So then it is actually better to get two brains on that. Yeah. But if it's external meetings, uh, no. if it's events, we don't need to be uh, no. both there. Then we decide sometimes, like, now we just need to get some energy or yeah. join me on this yeah, one yeah. because of yeah. uh, something. But yeah, sauna, sometimes. 
<laughs> I'm more a sauna person than, than she is, but we, we... But I'm good at champagne. Like, yeah, exactly. I, I can drink <laughs> what are, the, what are the, the questions that people ask you when they find out you're co-CEOs? What does everyone always say, like, how huh? does that work? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how does that... Especially if they met her first, then they met me, or the other way around. They are like, confused. Yeah. You can see it in their face. They're like, how does this... Nobody has died. If they die, it's not one of us that's <laughs> going to die, it's someone else. <laughs> but I think also if you meet only one of us, then they're like, how does that work comes more often than if you meet us yeah, as at a the duo. Same time. Because then it's like, okay, something makes sense. I don't know exactly how to read the two of them, yeah. but something makes sense around them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But is yeah. there, as part of onboarding, is there a like... Monica and Denise 101, how the hell this thing works? <laughs> <laughs> Probably there will be going forward a bit more that we, we have the uh, onboarding to like to tell the journey and the reason why we're founded. Like, and then of course all the natural But I'm stuff. doing that yes. because if she joins in on that, it will be one hour of bullshit. <laughs> so I do want them to get the full story of where we started, where we are, how the concept of co works. In 15 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. But there is, yeah. One yeah. Hour. It, how how much do people sort of bring it up when you're hiring? Is it is it is it a key part of your employer brand? Is it a reason people want to join? I I love it when journalists apply and they're like, we really like that it's run by two women. Yes. I'm like, Tuk. yeah. I do think that it uh, comes up quite often uh, if you are going to work close to us. Then of course you want to understand even better. How does that work? Yeah. Who do I report to? How do we run meetings together? Uh, how do we get fast decisions? Yeah. But, but I know that it's also most often by females, though. Like, they can comment that, oh, I want to work for a company with uh, co-CEOs, uh, women co-CEOs. Yeah. Do you have any? We have three minutes on the clock, and they're very strict on timing. Yes. Lush. Very Finland. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Finland. Yes. Do you have any final bits of advice or perhaps warning for people who might be considering this? What kinds of people just should not attempt a co-CEO relationship? I would say that if you have a if you have a need to be the one signing off things, if you think that there is an absolute value for you as a human being to be the one then you shouldn't be a co-CEO. But for us, the absolute value is to get infused to be where it can be, because then we build jointly together something that we can be proud of. And that's why we are working. And I think you need to know yourself inside and out. Like, what are your deepest core values? As a human being, what do you believe in? Yeah. And how do you translate them into your everyday business life? Yeah. Because in the end, again, when shit hits the fan, yes. <laughs> like that's the going to, uh, yeah. exactly when yeah. the, someone needs to hold the umbrella for you. Yeah. It's going to be based, though fast decisions yes. are going to be based on your deepest core values. Yeah. And if you are far away from each other yeah. on those, then it won't work when things get hard. And for us, like they were a perfect yeah. match. Like, yeah. So the same discussions that you may have with the spouse you are thinking that should we have children with, all the same discussions you should have when it comes to business with a partner that you consider being the co-CEO together yeah. with you. Yeah. So how do, what do we do if we are faced with bankruptcy, if we are faced with... Yeah, firing like, a lot of yeah. people, or if we need to, to scale and, and move abroad, or whatever. Yeah. All those discussions should be held that when, not if, when shit hits the fan, you take the right umbrella, <laughs> not the one with the holes and it goes in your face. But that's really the tip. <laughs> yes, you, nearly, you need to talk through yes. the worst, most difficult stuff you might have to go through yes. and check that neither of you is going to do something the other one would be like. Yeah. yeah, and I would say that when it comes to for the early days when we did the shareholder agreement, we put all those structures in place, not to protect us as single yeah. individuals, but to protect the company. So if we would ever have some, you know, I don't know, brain fart and start <laughs> thinking of doing something stupid, we would understand a consequence. Yeah. Uh, and having all that done gives us the focus to focus on what actually matters, and that's execution for NPUs. So prenup in marriage uh, shareholder agreement with yeah. your co-CEO or yes. co-founder, definitely, need to be in place. <laughs>
Amazing. Ladies, this has been the most fun probably of any you, slot you, you probably slot say this probably year. Yeah. no that's that's never been said in your before. lifetime in my whole <laughs> lifetime agreed and when, <laughs> when when is the ipo coming 2027 all right we're going to be on stage yes. at slush 2027 it'll be the end of the year yes. you'll have got it done yes. Yes. it's sure. november deal. there's two of you deal <laughs> great deal thank you very thank much you. thank you thank you